Hey YouTube fam. So it's been like a million years and I'm so so sorry. I have not vlogged in so long. Happy Memorial Day. Um, thank you to all who have served. Thank you to those who sacrificed their lives and their families for our freedoms. We're very fortunate. Um, I just realized y'all can see my neighbors standing on their porch in the back. It's a van day. Um, it's been super rainy here. Like, for the past like five days, so. It was like 72 out today, so it's perfect in the car for me. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this short, but y'all know I'm long-winded and it's been a really long time. And while I have a little bit of information, I don't have all of the information. So I'll just kind of start there. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you guys. Okay, so... I can't remember if I told you guys in the last video that I did or not. So I've been struggle struggling with some stomach issues for a really long time. Of course, somebody's mowing in the neighborhood. <sighs> somebody's always mowing when I'm trying to do something. Anyway, so I've been struggling with stomach issues for a really long time. Probably, I want to say two years, but it's been probably at least three, but really within the last year, I've struggled um, with digestive issues. So, like a year ago, it was like May, because it was in the middle of the pandemic, they finally ordered some tests for me. This might be an overshare, but it is, I apologize. One of them was a stool sample. Um, because we're concerned that maybe I'm dealing with some sort of intestinal parasitic thing. We don't really know what's going on. Um, but it's definitely been affecting our everyday lives for quite a long time, but in the past year especially. So, we sent the sample off to the lab. They emailed us in like hours, so we were pretty sure that they didn't test it, but whatever, and said that there wasn't anything wrong, that it was normal, whatever. So I just kind of continued to deal with it because we're still dealing with the pandemic, but like last year we were really in the middle of the pandemic, so trying to doctor or do any of that sort of thing was really tricky. And I wasn't super happy with my doctor's office or my current doctor's office, so I wanted to switch doctor's offices, but that was tricky too. So finally, the beginning of May, this year, so almost a full year later, I called the doctor's office that has been that had been recommended to me by lots and lots of people. They said she's wonderful. You know, you'll love her. You'll at least feel heard. Um, so I got in to see her. We'll call her Dr. Kelly. And just kind of explained to her, like, my main issues are stomach issues. Um stomach, all sorts of stomach, stomach issues. So, um, nausea, lack of appetite, bowel issues, like the whole thing. I was like, I've been struggling for a really long time. I was like, they took a sample. I was like, but they said it was fine. And she was like, well, let me review those results. A long story short, the sample wasn't what it was supposed to be. And they like literally threw it out without testing it. But nobody told us that. So she was like, yeah, they'll do that if it's not exactly the type of sample that they're looking for. 
which my doctor, other doctor's office never told me. So she's like, I will order another sample and we're going to do some blood work. Um, I also talked to her about, I've been dealing with anxiety for a really long time. I think partly because like I live in my head. Um, and so I just kind of struggle with being anxious about everything. And, you know, they say don't stress about the things you can't control. I can't control anything. And I stress all the time. So I've been on the same anxiety medication for a really long time. Um, I apologize for the mower in the background. I'm so irritated. I can wait, but now I'm in the middle. Um, so I told her I'd been on the same anxiety medication for a long time. I wasn't sure that it was making a huge difference. And so she's like, well, let me prescribe you something you can take along with the medication that you're already taking. And we'll see if that makes a difference. And if not, we'll come back to it. So a very long story short, everybody was right. I felt very, very heard. And I felt like if she wasn't going to be able to figure it out, she was going to refer me to somebody that could figure it out. So we are still waiting for my body to cooperate and to get the right kind of sample to the lab to be tested to figure out if I do have some sort of parasitic thing that I'm dealing with. It's going to test like my digestive enzymes and that sort of stuff too to see if I have like maybe some other um, digestive issues but like i said we're waiting for my body to cooperate so we haven't gotten a sample yet but as soon as we do we'll get it to the lab and hopefully we'll get results quickly and then we can start treating whatever is causing all of these issues with my stomach my anxiety is another thing so i started taking the medicine she prescribed and immediately was like so sick and i was like what is going on this is a couple weeks ago. I'm so nauseous and so anxious. I was like, okay, well, clearly this is not doing what it's supposed to do, but you're supposed to take like a low dose for like six days, and then you can up the dose or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, I will try the low dose for the six days. And if there's no improvement, then we'll figure something out. Well, I just kept getting sicker and sicker and more and more anxious. And finally, I was like, you know what? I really think this might be the medication that's making me sick. The new medicine. So I quit taking it. Um, and like literally two days later, I felt so much better. Thank God. So I don't know if I'm going to up my original anxiety med or if I'm just going to work with some natural um, like homeopathic things. Lavender is my best friend. I don't know if y'all are essential oil people, but it definitely helps me. Um, when I'm feeling super anxious, I drink lavender tea at night. So I'm not exactly sure what route I'm going to take. So, you know, nine minutes of... We don't really have any answers yet. Praying that we get some soon. Told you I talk a lot. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to update all of you because I've gotten a couple of messages like, please let us know what's going on with you. We're kind of worried about you. and I haven't put out any content in so long. Um, so I'm working on some things. Also, um, I did create a TikTok. Lord have mercy. Am I too old for this? I don't know. Um... I will post a couple of them. Um, and like February, I got kind of a scary cough. And I TikToked about it because when I say that I can't cough, like this is literally what I'm talking about. So I'll insert that video here. Here's me coughing, but not really coughing. Um, I think I had a cold. Um, I wasn't running a fever or anything, so they didn't test me for COVID. 
They thought maybe it was allergies. It didn't last a super long time, which we're super grateful for. Um, so yeah, so I'll post that video now. Okay, folks, so this is why spinal cord injuries can't get respiratory infections. Supposedly I don't have one, I just have allergies. But I don't know what this. I just don't have enough air. So that's how I cough. Or no cough. Uh, so that's been uh, happening at my house. Hopefully it'll get better. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, I also got my hair done for the first time in almost a year. I hadn't had it colored since 2019. Um, I hadn't had it cut since July of last year. I was trying to get my red to show, but I don't feel like the lighting's right. But anyways, I made a TikTok about it when I had it done. I'll post that here too. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for continuing to tune in, even though I'm a terrible, terrible communicator. When I have answers, I will share them because I have a feeling I know what's going on and I'm ready to like get diagnosed, get treated, and then be able to share with the world all of the things that I've been dealing with and why I've been dealing with them. So here's hoping that we've that we get the samples that we need, get results or at least a referral. And I'm feeling better and can get treated very soon. Anyway, I digress. I love y'all. Again, sorry about the mower. I swear it's the loudest mower on the planet. <laughs> um, oh, also we added a new kitty cat. She's super cute. Her name is Charlie. She's a kitten, and our other cats are kind of old hats, so it's been a long time since we've had a kitten, um, and she's super fun, so I'll post some pictures of her, too. Um, I'll post some pictures of the last few months, pictures and videos. All right, I love you guys. Um, like I said, I'll post my TikToks. My TikTok is the same as my Instagram. I don't post a lot. It's not great. Um, China Doll 22 is my handle. But anyway, okay. I love you. Um, thank you for being so patient with me. When I know what's going on with my health stuff, you guys will be one of the first to know. And I am coming up with ideas for new content. If you guys have ideas for content from me or suggestions or things that you wanna see, please, please, please comment below because I will do my best to give them a shot for y'all. Um, I said it was a van day. Oh, I have a, a TikTok about that too. I'll post that at the end. Okay, love you. Add a little bit of spice. So here's a little context into my very eventful life. It's a van day. These are my favorite days. I have a shirt dedicated to Van Days. Hot man over a hot man any day. like my very own little sauna.